Unit 3, Formative 3, Day 4, Elimination. This is going to be Elimination Day 2. Okay, so you learned some of it yesterday. Today's a little bit new. Solve the system. 2x plus 3y equals 9, and x plus 5y equals 8. So what you want to do is you want to figure out, is anything going to eliminate? So you have 2x and 1x. Those won't go away. And 3y and 5y. Those won't go away either. Okay, so you have to make them eliminate. So in other words, if I want to eliminate my x's, what can I or what do I need to be opposite of 2 in order for it to go away? We well, need negative 2. So I need to multiply the bottom to make this 1 into a negative 2. So you ask yourself, 1 times what is negative 2? Negative 2. So we're going to multiply the entire bottom equation by negative 2. All right, we're not going to do anything to the top equation, so I'm just going to rewrite it. 2x plus 3y equals 9. And every single thing on the bottom is going to be multiplied by negative 2. So we'll have negative 2x minus 10y equals negative 16. Okay, so 2x and negative 2x cancel. And 3y plus a negative 10y is negative 7y. And 9 plus negative 16 is negative 7. Divide both sides by negative 7. So y equals 1. So then you're going to take that y, that's 1, and plug it back in. So you have 2x plus 3 times 1 equals 9. So 2x plus 3 equals 9. Subtract 3 from both sides. So 2x equals 6. Divide by 2. So x equals 3. So we have x equals 3, y equals 1. So my final answer is 3, comma, 1. Make sure to write it as a point. All right, let's try another one. Solve the system 3x plus y equals 5, and 2x minus 2y equals negative 2. Okay, so we look at our 3 and 2 with our x's. Those won't cancel. 1 and, this is like a 1. 1 and negative 2, those aren't going to cancel. So again, you choose, and you can get rid of the x's or the y's. Um, I like to just get rid of the x's because... That's all you got to do, and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I need to multiply the top by something. Because you can't make a 3 into a 2, and you can't make a 2 into a 3. So I had to actually multiply both. And what you do is you multiply them by each other. So you multiply the top by the bottom number, which is a 2, and the bottom by the top number, which is a 3. Okay, now the only problem is one of them has to be negative. It doesn't matter which one, just one of them. So I'm going to make this, pot, this top one a negative 2. So every single thing on top gets multiplied by negative 2. So negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. And negative 2 times 10 is negative 10. On the bottom, every single thing gets multiplied by 3. So 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 2y is negative 6y. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, then you can add straight down. Those are canceled. Negative 2y plus a negative 6y is negative 8y. And negative 10 plus negative 6 is negative 16. Divide both sides by negative 8. And y equals a positive 2. Okay, so now that I have my y, I just rewrite my first equation. So 3x plus y equals 5. Plug in 2 for y, so 3x plus 2 equals 5. Subtract 2. 3x equals 3. Divide 3. x equals 1. So my final answer is 1, comma. Two. Don't forget, you can always pause this so you can get everything written down. All right, next one. 3x plus 2y equals 17, and 2x plus 5y equals 26. Again, the 3 and the 2 won't cancel. The 2 and the 5 won't cancel, so we have to make them cancel. So we multiply the top by the bottom number, so 2, and the bottom by the top number, so 3. Again, one of them has to be negative, so let's make the bottom one negative this time. Honestly, doesn't matter. So everything on top gets multiplied by 2, so you have 6x plus 4y equals 34. And on bottom you have negative 6x minus 15y equals negative 52. So those cancel. 4y plus a negative 15y is negative 11y. 34 minus 52. Oh, that's going to give you a negative 22. Not 22, but 18, sorry, negative 18. Divide by negative 11. And you have y equals 1.64. Okay, you can round. All right, so I'm going to plug 1.64 into the y spot. So we have 3x plus 2 times 1.64 equals 17. So 3x plus... 3.27 28, excuse me. 
equals 17. Subtract the 3.28. You get 3x equals 13.72 divided by 3. x equals 4.57. Okay, so it's okay to get decimals. Your answer is the x, which is 4.57, comma y, which is 1.64. All right, so that's my answer. That's elimination day two. Make sure you take all those notes and you understand what to multiply by. When in doubt, just multiply the top by the bottom number, the bottom by the top number, and make sure one of them's negative. We'll see you tomorrow.